welcome back to our channel. Ruth here and I am an Australian immigration lawyer uh, based here in Australia. Well, in today's video, I'm excited to share with you um, the Global Talent Task Force uh, in particular in relation to a company. So the question is, is your company eligible um, to actually um, qualify under this program so that yourself, uh, your senior executives and perhaps uh, some of your staff members can actually relocate to Australia and get the support from the Australian government to continue to develop your ideas here. But at the same time, the cool thing is that the Australian government will actually provide you not just with the visa, but with the support and they'll connect you uh, with the right people to actually, uh, who will help you um, in making sure that your business will be successful here uh, in Australia. So if you're looking at at expanding um, in internationally and Australia is perhaps one of the destination and may I just say Australia is beautiful um, I personally love Australia I'm a migrant myself but it is amazing it's an amazing place you know for families um, if you want to raise your kids here um, it just has that really nice um, work-life balance um, even though I'm busy all the time, <laughs> you'll be able to actually see that when you come to Australia. So without further ado, um, I want to talk a little bit about the task force. So essentially, it is the Australian government's initiative to bring the best and the brightest businesses and talent to Australia. So the target is for high yield companies to bring their technologies, cutting edge research and development and IP and capital to the shores of Australia. But in return, um, the candidates, successful candidates will be able to get visas in a more uh, flexible way. You'll be able to bring your family members here and they'll be able to experience the Australian lifestyle. But at the same time, like I said earlier, the Australian government will actually connect you with the right people, the right organizations to help you ensure that your business will be successful here um, in Australia. So the question then becomes, well, will all companies be eligible or uh, is your company eligible? So let's run through some of the eligibility requirement. Um, so first of all, the business must be high yield. So you have to turn over a fairly significant amount. Um, it must be an existing business, can't just be, you know, something you want to start in the future. Uh, you must already be up, be up and running and prove that, you know, it is uh, a workable business. Um, the, the third question is, are you riding on high success? Are you able to show that your business is fairly successful at this stage? And if so, then perhaps you will qualify for this, um, uh, this program. Um, now, here are some of the uh, desired quality that the Australian government is looking for. Um, so they're looking for people or businesses who can create large numbers of Australian jobs. So if your business, if you do relocate to Australia and you can create large number of Australian jobs, then perhaps you will tick the box. Um, they're looking for companies who would invest significantly in Australia, who will add economic value to Australian society, who would drive cutting edge research and development, um, who would create or con contribute to clusters of expertise, especially in future facing industries, who will increase Australia's economic and supply chain resilience and would co-invest with Australian firms. So essentially all of these are um, the contributions that uh, the Australian government is looking uh, for. Now, um, you may not already be doing that right now because you know, you're based overseas, but you need to be able to convince the Australian government that when you do come to Australia, these are your intentions and you have um, the proposition to actually carry um, those promises out. Um, also, um, it needs to be relevant to a target industry. So here are some of the industry, their resources, agri-food and egg tech, energy, health industries, defense, advanced manufacturing and space, circular economy, digitech, infrastructure and tourism, financial services and fintech, education and some other industries as well. So in, um, in another video actually, um, went into detail about what each of these industry means. And sometimes it's not, um, it, th there's no particular, uh, I would say, argument or definition. And so it really depends on how you make that argument, whether you fit into that particular industry. But 
um, I do have another video that talks a bit more about um, the global uh, business talent task force that that gives you um, that will give you specific examples as to uh, the different uh, target sectors um, that the Australian government is looking for. So how do we actually prove that um, the business um, is actually viable is something that the Australian government is is looking at for. So you need to actually be able to provide information on your business, such as your website, links to information, annual reports, you know, to show how successful you guys are, um, explain your business interest in coming to Australia, how you can contribute, when, uh, how, who is going to be involved. So it's really important that you actually conduct research into the local market and see who you can collaborate with. You need to have a local know-how and knowledge as to the industry, which town, which regional area, which city. So these are really, really important. And that's something that we can actually help um, our clients with. We can work with you um, as to what uh, type of uh, contribution or the places you want to go to, um, etc. It's also important to establish how you can contribute to local jobs um, and how many local jobs your business will be able to create um, and how can the task force assist you with information advice or other support. So basically you will also need to have a bit of an idea as to what you want the Australian government to do for you uh, because whilst they are happy to help you out, you need to actually tell them and say, well, um, this is the sector I need. So can you provide me with help in this um, arena? And of course, you know, we don't want to overburden the Australian government, but at the same time, um, that's their intention. They do want to help you. So I think it's really important that, you know, you come up with a reasonable proposal um, as to the help that um, you would like to see from the Australian government. Um, so I hope that the information in this video is uh of assistance to you if you're a company. Now, if you're if you're an individual, um, then you know I actually have made a different video, and you can have a look at that one as well. Um, but if you're a company, if you're a company and you're seeking to relocate to Australia to establish a business, you want to bring your family here, you want to potentially migrate to Australia, um, then this is something that uh, you can start looking at uh, because it is actually the newest and one of the fastest way to actually migrate and get a visa um, to Australia. Um, to benefit Australia, but at the same time, uh, you will be benefited as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please do not treat the contents of this video as legal advice because we assess each case on a case by case basis. If you need help, just shoot us an email on that email address below and it would be our pleasure to assist. Thank you once again for your time and I'll see you next time. Bye.